we have an epidemic of narcissism in the world and in American culture. And I, um, I got a comment from somebody on my last video who I can tell, I can tell the person is a Lori McBride or George Soros Jesuit. And they were th throwing these accusations at me saying that it's my fault that I am isolated from my mother and sister. And they said, you live all alone in your apartment and you're isolated like some mentally ill, decrepit, uh, first of all, I don't feel isolated. The brain-to-brain -brain communications that I get with, uh, with Brent Spiner is very satisfying. And I realize that he is silent because there's a court case going on. And if he communicates with me, then the opposition can claim that he told me what to say, and that will corrupt my, my statements and what I say. It will corrupt it as evidence. So that's the reason I haven't heard from them. And I understand. I'm a strong woman. But regarding, let me tell you whose fault it is that I am not dealing with my mother right now. First of all, I'd like to state up front that I was raised by a narcissistic mother. My mother suffers from narcissistic personality disorder. And as a child, my mother was a narcissist in the way she raised me. I was the one who suffered the abuse and my sister was the pet. And this resulted in me having a codependent personality so that when I married my ex-husband David, I was a codependent and he was a narcissist. Actually, I think he was a sociopath too. And uh, that sort of worked because I was help, help I was a codependent and I was feeding his narcissism until Brent Spiner came into my life. When Brent called me up on the phone and I realized that he was in love with me, I mean genuinely in love with me, that's when I began to escape my codependency prison. And that's how I can tell the difference between Brent and his clone. You see, when when I when the clone deals with people, he deals with them as a narcissist. Um, Lori McBride is a narcissist and a sociopath. And sadly, my sister has turned into a narcissist and a sociopath. And she is the reason that I cannot deal with my mother. I, even though my mother was a narcissist, I was still willing to deal with her uh, to try to help her out after my father, stepfather died, who was wonderful to me, very supportive. And my mother was very lucky to have him, though a, a typical narcissist, she, t she degrades his memory a lot and says a lot of negative things about him that are just so unfair. Just like she's, but my sister has basically, my mother, when my mother married my stepdad, she started getting out of her narcissism a little bit and started becoming more mentally healthy, you know, but um, it just, once my stepdad died, my mother latched onto my sister for support, and my sister has been poisoning my mother against me. She's filling my mother's head with lies about me, and my mother, I think deep down inside, she knows the truth, but because she is a narcissist and she has this need to feel superior all the time and to control people to help maintain this illusion of perfect of this this illusion she has that she's perfect and she's a narcissist any of you who've studied psychology that says it all so so some fan writes me and says oh so it's my fault that i have to keep a safe distance from my narcissist mother who's hanging around with my sociopath sister who lies about me because my sister is jealous of me. You may say, well, your men told you that she's jealous of you. You don't know that for a fact. Uh, explain this. Back in July 2012, my sister wrote a statement for my mother. My mother is Japanese. She does not have good English writing skills. I read the statement that the judge got from my mother. It was written in college or graduate level English. My mother can't write like that, so it's obvious somebody else wrote the statement for her. You might say, well, you don't know it was your sister. 
who else but my sister would have the motivation to write those lies that were in the statement. The statement it was out and out lying. It was very cleverly written. And it was obvious that whoever wrote it knew a lot about me. So it couldn't have been some stranger that my mother hired, like a lawyer, to write the statement. The, the way the statement was written, what, what it was about 90% true and 10% lies. But the 10% lies were very, very clever lies. Now, I've already made videos about this. So it's obvious that my men told me the truth when they said my sister wrote it. My sister wrote this statement and she used extortion on my mother to submit it to a judge. She basically told my mother, if you don't submit this lying statement to a judge, then you're not helping out Gail's mental health because Gail needs to go to the hospital. She, but, she, but my sister having a master's degree in public health, her name is Sandra Metcalf, by the way, and she's a sociopath and a narcissist. And she's written a lying statement about me, which was a felony. And in the statement, she stated that Vladimir Putin was, that I believe, I, that I said at a website that Vladimir Putin was going to come in a space pod and rescue me from the police who were going to come after me. That, that there was, for, I had never seen any website that had that in there. My sister just made that up. And the rest of the stuff was she was poking fun at my belief in the existence of clones, stating that every time anything um, anytime I get in an argument with my mother and my mother tries to help me because of my mental health issues, that I accuse my mother of being a clone. Actually, that's a gross overgeneralization. My mother did, does or did have a clone, but my mother being a narcissist, it has nothing to do with her being a clone. Let's just put it this way. My mother is a narcissist. Her clone is a sociopath. <laughs> in other words, it's like, the clone makes my mother's narcissism seem like good because the clone is just so evil. And um, I was dealing with the clone a lot. And she was she, she was deadly, man. She used to attack my stepdad and, it, and once caused him to bleed. He was on Coumadin, which is a, a medication that if you bleed, you don't clot well and well because it's a blood thinner. And she was doing stuff like this to my stepdad. And, you know... So you might say, oh, it's your fault you're isolated from your family. No, I'm isolated from my family because my mother is a narcissist. I can't, she abuses me every time I'm around her. I told, this is what I told my family. I said, I will be in good communicate. I said, I will deal with you and I'll communicate with you if you will both apologize for the lying statement that you submitted to the judge in 2012 that had me taken against my will in handcuffs by the police to a psychiatric hospital. They had to lie to do that because under Florida law or under law, you cannot take somebody against their will to a psych hospital unless they're a danger to themselves or others. So they had to make me appear to be a danger to myself or others by exaggerating things that they claimed that I'd said online, especially and making me appear like I was really crazy. Uh, they, my sister actually made stuff up, put it in that statement, and then extorted my mother into submitting it to a judge saying, if you don't submit this to a judge, then you're not a good mother. And she just kept bugging my mother about it. My mother did it. And then when I told my mother, hey, my sister Sandra wrote that, didn't she? My mother lied and said she didn't. But my men actually had a recording of my mother confessing that my sister wrote the statement. So I'm not going to submit that because I believe it's against the law to submit, to submit. it's against privacy laws or something to submit an actual recording of somebody without their permission online. So I'm not going to submit it, but I heard it, okay? So you're going to say, oh, you're mentally ill. So it was right for my sister to lie about me in a statement in order to have me taken against my will to a psych hospital. Jesus made a Romans 8.28 out of it, and um, I, <coughs> I got put on Seroquel, which is the number one medication for yeast out there. In fact, I'm coughing now because of these yeast bombs that are dropping. <coughs> I just said, Mother, I refuse to deal with you. I would go. I was going over to her house cleaning and trying to help her 
you know, because she was recuperating from the death of my stepdad. And every time I went over there, she would start abusing me like a typical narcissist. She was, her goal was to get me, I think, off of my Seroquel and onto another drug, which wouldn't work as well. See, my sister was manipulating my mother, telling my mother that Seroquel was poison, that my psychiatrist was not doing a good job on me and that I needed to be seen by another psychiatrist and put on another medication because my sister is BFF with Lori McBride. So my mother came over um, one time. Yeah, my, my sister is so evil. If my sister Sandra will apologize for writing that lying statement to my mother, she's denying she even wrote it. I'm not playing games with my sister or my mother. I, until I know, until I get an apology from both of them, I refuse to deal with them. Because every time I go over to my mother's place, she starts abusing me. She's a narcissist. And she does what my sister tells her to do. My sister is jealous of me. My men actually visited my sister in Atlanta. They showed up. When she found out that, that it was true that I actually had Matthew McConaughey, Gerard Butler, Brent Spiner, Vladimir Putin in my life, she got so jealous that one, I think one day Lori McBride came over and they started talking and they got along. They had something in common. They were both jealous of me. See, Lori's jealous because all she can get is that sorry clone for a husband to love her. He doesn't really love her. I think he just likes her because um, he she helps him maintain his rich and famous lifestyle, which he got by stealing the identity of the real Brent Spiner. And she is really frustrated because even though she plasters Photoshop pictures of her and Brent all over online, like they're this happily married couple, and like he willingly and knowingly had this baby with her, actually she she was so, when, uh, when I offered Brent my hand in marriage, when I discovered she was a Vatican agent, she the only way she could maintain her relationship with Brent was with death threats on me. She knew Brent loved me, so she knew if she threatened to kill me, that Brent would keep her to keep me alive. So when I offered him my hand, then the Jesuits did 9-11 to try to devastate me and get me to just back off. And that just made me reach out for Vladimir Putin. And that's when the marriage list started. But so it's funny how her son, Jackson, was conceived like two days after 9-11. Think of the time. Is this coincidental timing or what? Because as soon as I 9/11 happened, I gave up on Brent temporarily. I decided I needed a president in my life, and Lori didn't waste any time. Said, "Oh, I'm going for the kill. She's given up on Brent, so now I'm going to impregnate myself." So she, that it's a piece of cake for Jesuits to use artificial insemination, they, and they can get semen so easily. They steal eggs and semen using space age technology that never gets reported about. So anyways, to make a long story short, my sister is it and my mother are baloney factories, okay? It is dangerous for me to deal with my mother as long as she's dealing with my sociopath sister who who wants me locked up for good in a in a psych ward or in a state mental hospital so that she so that her jealousy against me will be satisfied. And my mother doesn't understand this about my sister, or maybe she does, but she's such a narcissist that she's not gonna be honest with herself about my sister's real motives for all the, the, all the terrible things my sister says about me and about my, psychi about my psychiatrist and the medicine Seroquel. See, my mother and sister want me off of Seroquel and onto another medication, and my sister is convincing my mother to try to get me locked up um, for good in a psych ward. Last time my mother came over here, she saw my Donald Trump sign and she went on this big rage. Oh, I can't believe you voted for Trump. He's terrible. Don't you realize he's going to take you off of your health insurance? Blah, blah, blah. And I thought, mother, I'm not going to talk about this. I told you I'm not dealing with you. What are you doing here? I said, leave right now. You know why she doesn't like Trump? Because my sister is BFF with Lori McBride and Donald Trump sides with me and my men. I've got overwhelming evidence that I better not deal with my mother and sister. So don't don't try to put guilt trips on me, you narcissist gaslighters out there. I can't deal with my sister's mother because she's dealing with my sister and my sister's a sociopath. 